Hi guys, welcome back. I am Red Zed, and today we are continuing our Rhodes Hot Seat campaign with Rather Incoherent on episode 5. We are now. And as you can see, many things have happened during the time I've been away, anyway. And we've you've, we've pretty much secured the Delta, which is pretty darn good, I'm not going to lie. Fair play to, uh, to Rain for going for Memphis. That is a hardcore move, I'm not going to lie. But I've got something to read out to you all from Rain himself. I was told that the Egyptians love pyramids, so I got them a pyramid. I am now being told that the Egyptians don't live here anymore, and the Ptolemaics don't appreciate all the slavery we've been doing. In light of recent social faux pas, I'd suggest leaving for greener pastures. Or any pastures, really. It's just Egyptian armies down here as far as the eye can see. And yes, it is. There's, there's many, many Egyptian armies. I mean, this one's a tasty one. They've even got some Kasai cataphracts in there as well, which... Yeah, it's not going to be fun to deal with them. So what are we going to do today? What is the plan? And I mean, I know I've sailed somewhere stupid already once. I kind of want to do it again. <laughs> and I think we're going to have to go and just leave the Delta. Because honestly, I don't think the AI knows how to deal with forts. Like, I really don't think they know what they're doing when it comes to trying to get past forts. Like, they can't get past these. So this army is just going to stay here. So if we can just cheese the AI to the point where we keep the Delta, maybe not Memphis and uh, Letu Polis, but if we could just keep the Delta <laughs> and go for better, safer pastures, then I think that's an opportunity we cannot turn down. Now, the problem is... I did kind of get our fleet destroyed last time. So he's getting a new fleet, which is fantastic. And I kind of do want to get some sort of peace with the Ptolemies, if I can. But it's very, very unlikely that they will give us peace. So let's have a look. Ceasefire is demanding. How if I gave you like 5,000 gold? I'm willing to spend some money on this so we get free transfer. But no, unfortunately not. It's very demanding. But we do have our army. It's a pretty darn good army. And now we've got quite a few generals around this region, which is absolutely superb. That is really, really going to help us out. We do have some pretty valuable units in these forts, though. That is the problem. So we're going to have a look. Can I get this general out of here and replace it with that? Still happy. And I kind of want to keep hold of Memphis. We've also got this general here as well. And what we're going to do is we're going to use our generals to replace some of our more valuable garrisons. Like these guys over here. Now for everyone, we are going to go to Naukratis for all of these boys if we want them to go there. So I'm going to send you into Leontonpolis. I'm going to send you into Naukratis. And there was another one with a... Yeah, it's you. All the rest of these are trashier garrisons it seems. What have we got in there? That's trash as well. Good. We do have some of those boys in there and there as well. So I would like to try and replace them eventually. But for now, let's replace the ones in towns because that's more important. So let's get them into Naukratis as well. And with this army, we are going to relieve the Siege of Alexandria because pretty much it protects us on this side here. And then we'll probably try and fort wall off this little region. And then... We're going to have a look at potentially going to Crete. So while we are here, we are... Do we have any more ports? That is the problem. We only have now Kratis as a place where we can build uh, boats. So, yeah. We definitely need to bring some boats uh, across. Because we have none at the minute. And that's mainly because of me. <laughs> that is mainly my fault. So, getting boats across to here looks like it's going to be tasty, but we shall see. But anyway, I have rambled on long enough. So, let us get on with the first battle of the episode. Let's go and kill Hermenion over here. I'll see you there, guys. Right, let's get going. We don't need our reinforcements. We're going to try and skirmish as long as we possibly can, which is probably not going to be too long, judging by the way that they are marching towards us. 
I'm surprised they didn't retreat, but I think they think their phalangites are made out of uh, titanium. But they're not. <laughs> Absolutely not. Absolutely not. Let's come forward a little bit more and let's try and bait them into coming at us. And here they come. Good, good, good. Let's go then. Let's go. Get out of there. And we'll keep all our guys on guard mode for now. So they can take the charge and we'll get our cavalry around the side. It is so nice to have an army that is not completely damaged. <laughs> there they go. They want to run away. That's fine. We will start firing at them. And yeah, there we go. One's already dead. Nice. And here come the hoplites as well. Very good indeed. Well, I'll see you in a sec, guys. So they've run one of their hoplites ahead a very long way. So we're going to bring our rest of our hoplites into this fight straight away. We're also going to bring our slingers forward. And we're going to try and go and snipe his general, of course. And I'm going to bring the rest of the slingers. Because ideally, I want to kill those phalangites just with the slingers. I do not want to engage them in melee. Because, of course, phalangites are going to shred our guys. We need to kill this general, though. Come on. Get after the goddamn general. So, we're going to just stand here. How are these guys doing? So, I want you guys to carry on attacking them. We'll get our general around this way to try and break those boys. And the rest of them, are they withdrawing? Yes, they are. God damn it, you dickheads. But with the rest of them, we are going to try and just kill this unit of phalangites. Oh, are they withdrawing as well? Yes, they are. Well, let's try to engage them then. We're going to get our guys around this way. A bit annoying that they would do this. But come on, guys. How can you not kill this guy? Come on. Come on, kill him. Get in a bit fatter formation. That should be better. There we go. <laughs> Finally. Right, we're just going to have a cheeky little charge into there and see whether we can do it. I'm going to bring our slingers forward. Keep coming. Keep coming, men. It stopped him. It stopped him. It stopped him. Good. And we only lost couple of men on that charge if any to be honest good that should fully stop them now and the slingers are having an absolute ball with these boys let's get right in front of them just stand in front of them see what we can do you guys fire as well we're absolutely destroying them but on this side let's go and destroy these guys these guys are taking a bit of a battering but that's fine let's also ra rally Agotho Stratos, the absolute legend of our nation. Oh, they've gone. They're done. They're done. They're done. Fantastic. Stop firing. We don't want to kill our own men. Have we got rid of them? No, just wavering. Just wavering. I love the fact that Agotho Stratos has such a big bodyguard now. It's absolutely glorious. Really, really powerful. Right, let's go for one final charge. That should be enough, hopefully, to kill them. We need to rescue this hoplite from taking too many damages. These guys have taken, like, four men damages. The other ones have taken, like, 20. But let's go. And uh, I don't think we'll have destroyed this army fully. But uh, I think we'll be fine. There we go. Fantastic. Let's kill them all. Fight to the death. I don't mind. I don't mind because they, they tend to break up then anyway. And let's end the battle. Well, we lost 29, killed 260. Not a problem at all. Fantastic. Well, anyway, I'll see you back on the campaign map well a glorious victory so let's come back behind the protection of our fort walls back to now where we've got more even more hoplites ready to go i mean we could even maybe fetch a couple of extra troops like especially this hoplite here but for now i don't think we want to do that so i'm going to end the turn guys actually we've got loads of money let's uh let's do some building then let's have a look around for our recruitment hubs so over here in Sias as a recruitment hub. Now, Kratis is one as well. I think that might be the only ones. Oh, no. We've got one in Sebenitos Busiris as well. So, there we are. And Cato Diaspolis is definitely not one. So, let's have a look at what we can build. Oh, you can actually grow into a minor city. Honestly, while that is an opportunity there to get it. While there is an opportunity there to get it, should I say. Let's get it. We have to. We have to. Uh, I know that's spending a lot of money, but so is size. Actually, size, I would prefer to get it in size to start with. And in now Kratos. Now Kratos is actually upgrading as well. So these places are actually going to become a little bit richer. So it looks as though these places are eventually 
getting some money, eventually being able to get some money and get some cash and get a little bit richer than when we first expected it. Obviously, Alexandria is screwed in terms of population, but now Kratis especially, um, obviously Saïs as well, 1,500. Not too bad for smaller, large towns, of course. So yeah, it's decent getting those buildings in there. Is there anything else we want to build though? Anything cheap? Anything that we want to recruit? That is the question as well. Anywhere that we can recruit? I mean, I don't think so. I would love to get an Akontistai from somewhere at some point. Just so we've got a cheap unit to put in a fort. But for now, unfortunately, it looks like we're not going to be able to do that at all. Um, and Letupolis has nothing in there as a large town as well. I mean, Memphis still holding together. But uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this one as well. I'd love to take replace these guys, but I think that's going to be further down the line. So anyway, guys, I'll end the turn and I'll see you there. And the Galatians have been killed. Are you kidding me? The Galatians and the Achaean League. What a crazy, crazy turn. The Galatians are normally a bit of a powerhouse. So I wonder whether they've been nerfed a little bit by the more uh, nations in the game and the more settlements around them as well but normally they're a powerhouse because of their celtic roster which is really strong but you can see lots of things happening i think the seleucids and the ptolemies in this game are friends and that really really hurts me right in the soul yes how how is oh, oh, that's disgusting that is honestly just despicable come on game that is terrible how can they be friends? They are sworn enemies at this point in time. They cannot be friends. That is ridiculous. The tripartite alliance of Ptolemies, Antigonids, and Seleucids is absolutely filthy. That is disgusting. I don't think that should be allowed, guys. Let's form the, uh, <laughs> the League of Nations quickly before they can get too strong. Oh, we've got another guy come of age. He's in Rhodes, though. And Rhodes is a little bit upset. <laughs> quite quite a lot upset, actually. Uh, let's have a look, then. I want to bring him to the other place, obviously. Uh, how much management? He's got nothing. He's literally got zero. Well, let's have a look. At, can we destroy this army? Surely. Clear victory. There we go. Fantastic. We'll join these two units together. Now we've got to try and escape. Very quickly, but we're going to do it next turn. Oh, I can't afford to do it next turn, really, though. But if I go on here, what's the movement? It's not good. Like, they've got pretty much the same. Well, let's come out this way. Let's come out. Ah, oh, so we go a bit slower. Let's go. I really just don't want to run into another navy. That would be terrible. So, we need to play this very safely. Luckily, the Navy's got quite a bit of movement. And we need to drop this guy off there. And then, we can maybe go for Crete. But, <laughs> it's a big but. Like, what do we do about here? And I, honestly, I think we just defend. But let's have a look at our army now, though. If we all gather in now, Kratos, because I'm going to wait a turn here anyway. Can we beat that Ptolemaic army? That's what I'm wondering. This one, at least. I really don't think we can, especially due to the cavalry advantage on very hard as well. Is going to be a brutal, brutal advantage to overcome. But it's probably not worth a try. <laughs> Let's be honest. <laughs> it's probably not worth a try. But for now, let us retrain those boys. Let's also get an Egyptian skirmisher because they're nice and cheap. And I would also like from these places... Let's get some more hoplites. We've got enough cash to do this. So let's do it while we can. Oh, we've got, already got you in there. Anywhere else? No. And we now definitely don't have enough money to upgrade the next settlement, which was... Not this one. It was this one over here. Sibentios Bosuris. And yeah, what uh, Rain was referring to here, 
The Great Pyramid nullifies the culture penalty effects of Egyptian buildings for non-Egyptian factions. But there isn't actually any Egyptian buildings in here, so that's the problem that we have here. Because they're Eastern Hellenic buildings, they're not actually Egyptian buildings. So that is, of course, meaning that there is no difference to the culture penalty, which is, of course, quite brutal for us, really. <laughs> Can we go up to normal in uh, Alexandria? Absolutely not. They do not forget. They remember. <laughs> Alexandria has been kicked around like a football in this campaign. It has really, really, really struggled. It has been absolutely marmalized by the constant struggles between us and the Ptolemies. And Lindos at this point probably has more Alexandrian refugees in it. <laughs> then Alexander has Alexandrians in at this point, which is kind of crazy. But it is nice to see that we have a full stack now. Um, so, I mean, pretty close to a full stack, just not a very uh, cavalry-based one, I guess you would say. So, I don't know. Let's see what happens when we press the end turn, where all these big Ptolemaic armies are going, and where they're coming from. Another candidate for adoption. Let's accept... But where have they gone? They've got Memphis. Oh, that is fantastic. Honestly, I don't mind leaving a general in a fort if it means we can use another Rhodian hoplite. But in fact, a general, a secondary general in our army would be very powerful indeed. Have we got anywhere in terms of the garrisons? That's too bad. That needs to go down to low now. I mean, all the garrisons look appropriate now so yeah general in a city of course is generally better excuse the pun <laughs> okay byzantium and the thracians whatever I, I like that don't don't concern me with shit like that game it doesn't matter <laughs> apparently we're no longer allied with byzantium so uh make sure you've got your tissues ready byzantium bro boys very sad sad scenes sad scenes but anyway um i think it's definitely worth going for Crete because we can just defend this. The AI clearly doesn't know what it's doing here. It clearly has no idea what it's doing. So I think we should just do that. Oh, hello, Ptolemies. Let's go. Uh, let's click R. So we go slower. And can we reach the edge? We can. We just need to make sure we get this guy off the boat. He is 16, so he'd be a good secondary general for us because he's going to live a long time. Unless we get him killed, of course, which I must admit is, is highly likely. Um, so, yeah, he can actually get into now Kratis. This is a goddamn big army, honestly. This is pretty big. Now, we either run, like we run for the hills and we go for Crete. And that was my original plan. But honestly... This army, it's good enough to take on the Ptolemies, I think. Famous last words, maybe. Hopefully not, but maybe. <laughs> I do think it's good enough to take them on, though. I think we can get going, you know. Take these settlements here. Maybe build up a bit of a, a barrier here, a fort wall here. And then just go down the Nile and then... Well, and then, and then I don't know what, but <laughs> but for now, I think we're all right, you know. I think we're in a pretty decent spot. Let's also get that other building in there, the other upgrade building. Because I feel like we've made a pretty nice home here on the Nile Delta. Enjoying ourselves out here on the Nile Delta. Now, let's have a look. What do we want to do here? We can leave, but if I swap over this guy and send him into now Kratis. That should be good. Doesn't have much. One influence, which helps a little bit. But we are getting that Egyptian skirmisher in there, so that'll be actually worthwhile next turn. So let's get going. And I'm going to try and deal with this army. If it's possible, we'll do it. If it's not... <laughs> We can just retreat behind our wall of forts, which is why we've built them, of course. They are our safe place. And I really don't feel comfortable getting on the boats right now. Now, I have been told by Rain that we can get a boat from here with an army on 
two Crete in one turn. So that is a bit of safety. But, <laughs> I don't know. I feel like we've got enough of an army now. I feel like Rain has done a really good job of recruiting a load of troops while he's had the campaign. And set us up for success over here. I mean, it's even probably time now to get recruiting more and more troops, which we are doing. We got more troops on the way. Yeah, more and more troops are coming. So I think we just got to go for the Delta because it's near our capital, right? Which, of course, is now Kratos. Now, I would love to make Alexandria the capital, honestly. <laughs> I really would. I really would. I would also like to build a fort here. But I don't think this guy will be able to get back in time to make them happy. Uh, so I'll do that probably next turn. Maybe with this guy. I think he'll have enough movement points to go there, set up a fort, and come back. So that's fine. But yes, I keep rambling on for ages. I'm very sorry about this, guys. But there's a lot of things to think over. A lot of things to consider when we're going forward because this is a really really brutal brutal strategy and been a very brutal campaign so far <laughs> so i'll see you after the end turn let's have a go at that ptolemaic army how in the hell this army's just stood here what dickheads <laughs> like at least try and siege down a settlement or something oh nice but yeah why are they <laughs> why are they doing that that's horrible please don't do that anymore i'm gonna try to get the fort over here. Now, we, apparently it's not there. We can't do it there. What about here? So we can do it there. That should completely block off the area. Now, let's get the 43 of those boys in there. Is that enough? Oh, 71%. That is what we like to see. Let's go back to now, Kratos. And it's still 57%. That's not ideal. We also need another fort there. Now, we did just train a few boys. We're going to have to keep them in there for now. These guys, let's join up. Definitely. And then we've got another one. Gonna have to put you down to low. We keep getting really big cultural unrest every now and then. Let's jump on the bridge here. Let's pick up. Do we want another slinger or another hoplite? Oh, we're actually at, at max. Wow. I was not expecting that. And we're still recruiting. Uh, do we need any more troops, though? The only issue across here is the fact that we cannot recruit these slingers at all. So, that's a bit of an issue. We also do need to upgrade roads because if we have a look at roads, it's ready to upgrade and it's losing population, but we just don't have the money to sustain that right now. We also need a little bit of happiness in Lindos because it's a very unhappy place, as it probably should be, I'm not going to lie. <laughs> but let's go for it. The Hail Mary. The Hail Mary against Karenos. Karenos the Painos. My god, that's a lot of cavalry. That's genuinely an obscene amount of cavalry. Why have you got so much cavalry? My favorite thing. <laughs> Are you kidding me? Why can we not attack? We have not got enough movement points to attack. No! Well, I mean, that might bait them into attacking us, which would be fantastic so let's just hope but that's a bit of a bummer not enough movement points and, and in fact that's not just a bit of a bummer that's really fucking annoying <laughs> but let's save up some money because we need to make sure that we are building in a few places like roads i really want to get roads upgraded to a, uh, a larger city a large city because i believe our Reform 2 is to have one huge city, so we need to get roads up to huge city. And four minor city for Thurio Foroi, although I can't see the Thurio Foroi being used that much right now. Neither the Espido Foroi either, to be honest. But it would be nice to have at least a cavalry option that isn't, <laughs> that isn't Prodromoi, to be honest. So, uh, yeah. But anyway, let's press the end turn. Let's see what the Ptolemies do. Hmm, well, the original plan of going for Crete might have been the option, to be honest. <laughs> um, that army that was stood there has somehow gone to Letupolis. I don't know why, but fair enough. Let them do what they want. Diplomacy doesn't really matter. We built something in Lindos. Wow, probably makes them even unhappier. 
Mendez has grown now, so we need money for that. <laughs> and now Kratis was very upset. But one more turn and they should be happy indeed. Well, let's build the Governor's Palace in Mendez because getting these up to large city is going to provide us so many more building chains that we can get our hands on, including river trading ports. Although, we have inland trade centers in a lot of these places. So we'll start being able to upgrade our traders and our roads to get more and more trade in this region and get richer and richer. Because at the minute, them being large towns, they're not providing that much money when we could be making a lot more. So let's attack Karenos. What's in the city? Just a hoplite. And this is going to be interesting. I mean, we have in infantry domination. But at the minute, I'm kind of just wanting to bait them into attacking us with our Rhodian Slingers and then just forcing them to charge us through the middle. That would probably be the best. But the Kasai Cataphracts are going to be something else. So let's see how we do, guys. I'll see you there. As simplistic an army as ever I've seen one, to be honest. But it makes it very easy to set it up. So let's get engaged with them. Let's see if we can force them to charge us, which it looks like they're wanting to do right away. Go on, AI. I dare you, my friends. I dare you. Come and have a go if you think you're hard enough. Oh, dear. <laughs> I just want to show you these Kasai Cataphracts, guys, because they're one of my most favorite units that have been remastered. God damn, don't they look good. Wow. They look beautiful. What a stunning unit. Really stunning. But let's see. Can we bait them into attacking us now? Get in place, boys. Start firing. Ideally, I want to fire at their general. You guys just fire at whoever you want. That's fine. Fire at the missile boys. It's fine. Let's see if we can bait all these guys into attacking us and see whether it works. And then look at that cavalry. That's quite a lot of cavalry. I mean, if they just did a massed cavalry charge right now, they'd probably just crumble our whole right flank. But looks like they don't want to react. They've only got one unit of phalangites, which is very good for us. Long spearmen are absolute trash, so we don't need to worry about them. Matroi 4 are a good unit, but there goes their general just taking it to the face. He loves it. What a man. Go on, son. He's just taking it. <laughs> what a dickhead. What a dickhead. There go the stones. Absolutely shredding his general already. We might even kill him before we've even engaged in melee. <laughs> That would be insane. Um, hello, AI. I know you want to defend, but doing this is probably not the option that you want to go for. Here come the missiles, boys. The last three are around. Oh, we're on, uh, we're on uh, slow-mo still. I was wondering why the, uh, they were going so slowly. <laughs> but the last two, come on. He's got to die at some point, surely. Just a single man. Reveal yourself. <laughs> if you don't know the reference, guys, that is a British TV show. Or used to be. I don't know whether it's still going. I don't watch live TV. I play video games because I'm a pro gamer. This guy is basically Iron Man. And by the way, that was a joke. <laughs> but this guy is Iron Man. And now he's dead. <laughs> Great. Fantastic. Well, let's uh, slow down slightly because what I want to do is take out their cataphracts. So let's come slightly to this side, slightly further up. And we're going to bring our guys right in behind them. I've also got a relatively thick line. Here comes their secondary army. That's what they're probably waiting for, to be honest. But we've got to destroy those boys as well. But this line is quite thick, mainly because um, they don't have much infantry. So we don't need to have a very um, thin line. And also, that should allow us to take the charge a lot better. So everyone can actually fire at this Kasai Cataphract. Okay, that's kind of spurred them into a little bit of action. So please, come on. Come on, the Ptolemies. You know you want to fight me. You know you want to. Oh, look at them. They are armor-piercing the Rhodian Slingers. So this is just obscene on the Cataphracts. Armor-piercing those boyos. Yes, go on. Now let's shoot into the middle of here at these Kasai Cataphracts. But I don't know what the AI is doing. <laughs> but this is, this is glorious for us. I'm not going to lie. Right, we're going to have to detach two of these boys off this side. Just to deal with that as well. And I need to make sure I'm ready to run with those boys. They're actually taking a few javi shots now. So let's get back out of the action. And let's try and surround these boys. And here comes the first charge. The first glorious charge. No, it's just Prodromoy. It's just Prodromoy. 
We don't need to worry about it then. Prodrovoy are absolute shit munchers. I hate them. I despise them. There we go. Now we can just fire at them. Right, now we've got these boys surrounded. And let's see what we can do about a charge. Let's rally the men. Rally the men. Let's see if we can break them straight away. They're already shaken. Now we've got more, better cavalry coming into the fight. No, nope. didn't work because we charged first with our shit unit of horse archers. Oh, well. Here we go. Oh, one of these uh, poor slingers got very damaged. But that's fine. That is not a problem. There go the Kassai. You can see, just absolutely do nothing. Doing nothing because they're so damaged now. Right, let's keep on firing. Who do we want to fire at now? Those Kassai cataphracts. So let's go for an actual proper charge this time. Wait, which? Yeah, these two units. Not the other ones. And he's already rallied. So that's a little bit problematic. Let's come around this way first. Then let's go for the charge. That should have been a lot better charge. They've counter-charged us, which isn't great, but that's fine. Let's get the men out then. Uh, is that general dying? Uh, someone's dying. Okay, that's someone's general. It's, I think it's this unit's general. Okay, if you want to counter-charge me like that. They, they love attacking cavalry. I don't know what it is about the AI, but they have a fetish for attacking cavalry. They really hate horses. Or really love them, I guess. Uh, but yeah, let's get back out. Let's go for another charge. And it looks like they're just going to let us attack. Like, let us shoot them. And that is our perfect scenario, I'm not going to lie. You guys can chase them down. We'll now get our guys up here. Do we want to engage? Probably not still. I think we still want to just fire off all the ammunition that we can take whatever damage that we can while we're here because i don't mind taking javi damage while we are putting damage down on them because we can retrain these hoplites very easily so it's not a problem at all but here they go they're going for a little bit of a, uh, a cheeky maneuver here i don't know what this is but yeah the poor ai because we're attacking they really don't know what to do they don't know whether to defend or do anything else so here they go. They're going for some charges. Good. Our hoplites are in such thick formation, though, that we should really, really, really do well here. Here come the long spear, and also a really cool-looking unit. But yeah, our hoplites are just holding so strongly here right now. This is glorious to see. Right. Well, while they are doing that, let's get around here. Let's start chasing them down. Their cavalry is just running away. Good. Good, good, good. Good for us. So, can we engage those boys, the Thurio Foroi? Let's get in here, see if we can surround these boys. And let's see if we can engage some of the, uh, the Matroi Foroi and all those sorts of boys. And then use our cavalry to good effect. Long Spearmen are already gone. They've already gone. Let's fully try and box them in here. You guys in the back there. You guys into there. Oh my god. I don't know what's happening. Their morale has crumbled. Like, literally crumbled. Are they withdrawing now? Yes, they are. Well, can we fully destroy this army? Probably very unlikely. That's the problem here. Right, guys. Right, guys. Right, guys. You guys I do not want you chasing through there. God damn it, man. Well, hopefully you can, uh, you know, make them run away. This is also the problem with not having any cavalry. Like, this is going to be so hard to chase all these guys down. Right, guys. Go, 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 go. Go, go, go. Go. Go, go, go. Everyone, get across here. Get across here to block them off. See if we can break this unit. You guys coming up. Now, all the Rodians, we want you to chase down someone because you're very fast. Where is my cavalry? Come on, men. Get going. You're so slow, man. Now, we definitely have not going to kill all of them. Oh, that's a bit of a nightmare. I did not want them to run away and withdraw. <laughs> but whatever. Whatever. It's fine. Come on, boys. Get going. Well, I'll see you at the end, guys, and see how many we actually did manage to kill. This poor unit's run all the way back to the where the battle took place. And now all the hoplites are converging. Go on, boys. <laughs> it's literally like the Pirates of the Caribbean. -esque. Caribbean sketch when Jack Sparrow's running for the ship. Come on, boys. Let's go. Let's go. You've got them. They're all coming. Come on, boys. Hurry up. Speed up, men. Speed up. <laughs> Glorious. Well, I don't know whether we actually did fully destroy them, but we did kill a lot on the pursuit. 
So, that was pretty glorious. 100... Oh my... Yes! Come on! We killed 1,500 and lost about 1,090. Oh, glorious marmalization. Finally, we can say that we have marmalized an army. That was incredibly brutal. The Rodian Slingers doing an absolutely fantastic job. Let's see you back on that campaign map. Indeed, a glorious victory. And instantly, oh my god. What are these armies? There's so many Matroi Foroi cavalry in there. It's insane. It is genuinely insane. But let's take Boobastis. Ooh. Well, Boobastis. Very nice name. Um, What is this? Temple of Dionysus. I'm willing to accept that. That's a decent temple. Uh, but let's have a look at what movement is here. So this area kind of looks blocked off itself. Which is very good because we can maybe go for a little bit of a draw-out battle there. And these are all large towns, which is glorious. Now, I'm assuming we got the town grows. Yeah, Zeos over here. Mm, even more towns growing. With it, that's really good. We are actually building up a bit of an economic base over this way now. So what I'm considering doing, let's get this guy here. Let's build a fort there. That's going to block off a lot of different things for us now. Let's build that. And then let's swap out this Prodromoy into there. Let's get our general back to here. Let's com continue with the rest of the army. And in fact, let's get you in there. I'm considering leaving the Numidians behind. But honestly, right now they are so, so valuable. We may even swap out this Rhodian Slinger into the army now, actually. Yeah, let's, uh, let's do that. Let's take the rest of the army. Let's swap out you into there. And, yep, happy, good. And let's see, can we kill that army? Yes, we can. Oh, yes. Well, it's turning... This is turning out better than I expected. And then we can fort this off. And we are pretty much protected in the east then. Like, fully protected. These armies... Although, oh, there's this one here. I didn't realize that that one existed too. So I'm thinking we could build another fort there. <laughs> this, this fort wall is insane. <laughs> but we could build another fort there. And then we can just kind of do what we want. We can go down south. We can go east. We can go wherever the armies take us, really. And like I said, I'm not that bothered about losing Letupolis and Memphis right now. I think we can get back. If we take this settlement in one turn... We'll probably be all right to get back there in another turn. Now, they have Zistaforoi and more Machiroforoi cavalry. Lots of Phalangites in this army, though, which is a little bit scary. But it shouldn't be too much of a worry compared to the last army. And we're going to use exactly the same tactics. Once again, of course. Those are the Rodian tactics, boys. Those are the Rodian tactics. Well, let's just use that same tactic again, guys. It looks like it's going to work again, which is very nice to see. They have brought their army back here as well. So we'll do the same thing we did last time. We'll send a couple of units to deal with it. Maybe three this time because I thought they had two units in the city. So I actually have no idea where that other unit is. Let's group those. Oh, that's the general already dead. Oh, this is just brutal. We'll kill the Phalangites now, I think, because they are the scariest unit that they have. I don't think the Matroi Foroi cavalry really are that much compared to them. Okay. Quickly shift. Quickly shift and let's get back. Let's get back, boys. Get back, you bastard. I'll break your legs. Go, go, go. There we go. That's all right. Now we've engaged these guys in melee. Attack them. Here comes the cavalry. And honestly, with our guard formation, yeah, they're doing nothing. They're doing absolutely nothing. Running along the lines like that is just going to kill them even more. So, oh god, these guys are getting all messed up because they've got that on. Right, let's get our uh, cavalry back here. Where is that secondary unit? There it is. I knew it was somewhere. I just didn't know where. And the phalangites are all going around that side. Well, uh, let's get our skirmishers over this side. The problem is here, whether we can actually kill this full army because of the amount of cavalry that they actually have is very unlikely, actually. So... 
Let's get our men here and let's see if we can kill many of them with our firing. And we've just got to try and surround these boys. So let's try and surround these cavalry units. Let's try and get through. You guys get round the back, round the back of them, round the back. That's the problem. See, they route straight away. They're not a very good unit. So let's just get there. I don't know what their phalangites are doing. I don't know what this unit's doing. Oh, it's a 304. Oh, that's why. Don't want to take the Javis to the face. Let's go. Oh, we did. We took an absolute battering with that that one. Let's get out then. Let's get out. Oh, that was that was not ideal. That was not ideal to say the least. <laughs> yeah, the Matroy 4 cavalry, like, honestly, not that good really, is it? <laughs> right, let's get all the way around. We'll leave actually you two behind here to protect against the rest of them. And we'll use you boys to get around there. Get all the way around and let's try and fully surround these boys. Are they withdrawing? Oh my god, they are. Dickheads, honestly, man. Honestly, we don't want that. Are they withdrawing as well? God damn it. No. We definitely don't want the guys in the uh, settlement to live. Because there's a chance still. Look at this blob. This is the blobbiest of blobs, my friends. What is this? The blobbiest of blobs. Get them off guard mode, these boys. They don't need to be on guard mode anymore. But these poor guys are taking a bit of a battering, of course. They are fighting phalangites. But there we go. We should be able to surround them here. That should hopefully break up their formation. But yeah, they, they're going to definitely have escaped with a lot more men than we wanted them to. Annoying that they withdraw every time, it seems. Okay, we'll get you, you guys off guard mode as well. You don't need to be on guard mode anymore. Should allow you to push through, so let's do that. Have we caught them? Looks like we have. Yes, just for a second. There we go. Actually caught them on the charge that time. Good, good. Fantastic. Fantastic. Right, let's come around and let's try and block them off because I want to kill all of these guys at least. At least. I do not want these guys retreating back in the city. Now, this is a bit of a brutal fight, I'm not going to lie. But, fact, let's see. If we can get, like, our slingers here, they should be able to absolutely plow through the flank of those boys. Um, let's get you guys there for overwhelming numbers. Unhappy overtaking casualties. Well, where is the cavalry? No, 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 no. Oh, no! They ran another way. <laughs> oh, dear. Messy, 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 messy things. What's, what's going on here, then? Right. You guys. These guys have pretty much just powered through the side of our guys. But let's see some point-blank action from these boys. Point-blank from the slingers. Let's go. Let's see what happens. Nice. Let's get it on K. Oh my god, they're all routing now. Come on. Oh, <laughs> yes. Point blank. It's like a point blank volley in Napoleon. Very nice. Keep on going, boys. Fire in there. I know it's not killing that many, but as you can see, it's definitely having an effect because they're all starting to route now. Well, let's get off K then. Okay, looks like we're good. So we're going to send you guys over this way to deal with them. Same as you, and we're going to send these guys up here to deal with them, and I'll see you at the end, guys. Well, not quite as good as last time, but a pretty darn good victory nonetheless. And hopefully, you know, we'll be able to take the settlement pretty easily next time without too much of a problem. And god damn it, and we also stepped through onto the wrong side. So if we do get attacked from behind... Yeah, it's not ideal. We Oh, we've got a... That's perfect. Glorious. A three. A three man. That'll be perfect for a fort wall. So, uh, very happy with that. But also have to hope that the Ptolemies, you know, don't come down after us. Minor city of Pelusion as well. Harun Polis is a town. Large towns over here. Minor city of... Uh, Sokno Pau Nessus and Arsino Crocodilon Polis as well is a minor city. So we are getting into some more rich land, which is fantastic. But let's have a look, see whether we can uh, take this settlement all in the next turn. 
Oh, glorious. We got the Rodian reforms. One. So now we should be able to get Thurio Foroi. Let's have a look. Uh, where can we recruit? Probably not in there. Maybe in Rhodes, though. Maybe in Rhodes. Let's have a look at them because... Okay, no, we cannot. <laughs> Let's have a look. Yeah, we got the Thurio Foroi now. And they're just not better than our Hoplites, really. So, yeah, our Hoplites... Probably overall are... Mm, mm, they're probably better in defense. The Hoplite's not quite as good in attack. But they're pretty darn equal, I've got to say. Well, I guess the plan is now to come back and fight Demetrius and also Thessalos up here once we've taken Tanis. So let's do that. I've also gone around all the cities, just making sure they're all on the right tax rate. And it looks like, t for the most part, that to be fair, that they are on the right tax rate. This is very upset, but it should be happy next turn, mainly because it's 7,700 people when it should have been upgraded at 6,000. I've also queued in the Rodian recruitment too, because we really do need to have the ability to recruit our slingers. And to do that, we need to be level three. Level three recruitment. So it's going to be a lot of turns before that's possible. Um, so, yeah. But let's get into Tannis. Let's go and have a look. It's pretty much all cavalry. So I don't think we'll have too much of a worry with getting them off the town square and shooting them to death with our Rodian Slinger Boys. Well, we've pretty much destroyed half their army just from standing outside and shooting at them. So, killing the rest, honestly, shouldn't be too much of a worry. Now, I want to kind of use these guys. Although they've got experience, I want to use them because I want them to get down to, like, three. Like this. So, we can use them for fort walls. <laughs> so, let's try and use them to start with. We're also going to bring in some actually, you know, fully... Uh, Fully trained up troops or fully full units. I can't speak today. I don't know what's happening. It happens a lot though, doesn't it, guys? I say that nearly every episode. So, uh, yeah, let's bring our cavalry in as well. And ideally, we're just going to use our slingers to go and kill everyone. So, we'll get you guys down here just to block off that way so they can't come through. And let's see what we can do here. So, we've killed a lot of them through our missiles, but here come... The rest of the boys. Let's halt these guys then. Let's hopefully they can take the charge. Counter charging is never a good idea with your infantry. So let's take the charge and attack them. Here come the Rodian Slingers though. Don't really want them getting involved too much in the action here. <laughs> so let's get those guys forward. Let's get all the Rodian Slingers. Halt men, halt. Don't, don't, don't keep running, please. <laughs> We're also sending these guys down this way. Now let's also get our cavalry up there into the town square. And I think this is it. I don't think they've got really any more infantry. So I really don't see how we can really do anything different here. I think we're just going to absolutely ruin them through this. Get our cavalry up here and we can kill this Maturoid Foroi as well pretty easily. Nice. Glorious, glorious fighting in the town square. Looks like they are getting fired at back there as well. Which is good. Good for us. So let's get you boys over this way. Let's also get you boys over this way. I think we can probably break them just with one little hit in the back there. So let's go. Let's also rally the general so he doesn't die. Surely that's going to be enough. Completely squished. They should not want to do anything else here. There we go. There we go. Fantastic. Nice victory. We lost 31. We killed 181. Pretty nice indeed. And the Slingers again doing an absolute job they are beastly they are so good they're insanely good but anyway i'll see you back on the campaign map guys and of course let's enslave again now that may might make oh my god so many places of upgraded now but we are making eleven thousand a turn and we're also getting this so is that going to be enough not quite to make anywhere upgrade but what i'm going to do is i'm going to pop a fort down in here Let's go for that. Let's get the general back in there. And let's get those three boyos <laughs> into there. A very nice fort unit for us there. How far can we move? Well, we can move far enough to smash them back. Uh, 36. 36. That's fine. That's fine. As long as we can reach these guys. Oh. 
Well, I feel like if... Though, they've not even built any siege equipment yet. What are you doing, AI? Genuinely, what are you doing? That is insane. <laughs> what crazy, crazy bastards. But anyway, let's have a look at what we want to build. We've got a couple of very unhappy places. And honestly, I think it's best... Ah, oh, god damn it. I, I forgot to leave someone there. <laughs> Well, is there any forts that we don't need right now? I mean, this one, potentially, we don't really need. We could also swap out a general. So if you left Prospice, what happens? Still 59%. That's not ideal. Yeah, of course, there is, is not happy at all. Ah, over here, though. If I leave that, 63%. I mean, it's not ideal, but it's not terrible at the same time. It's because we're waiting for that, and it's got 8,000 people. So if it doesn't riot next turn, it should be okay. Um, and then the rest of our money, we need to save it so that we can, of course, uh, build all the uh, <laughs> all the population growth buildings that we need next turn. I'll tell you what we're going to do. We're going to swap out a few of these fort units. So we're going to swap this 123 for the 43. That should be enough to keep them happy for now the same in some of these other regions that are pretty unhappy if we swap out larger fort garrisons like this one for example for a smaller garrison we should be okay but yeah very unhappy places but let's press the end turn and let's see where we get to so yeah our land now is pretty darn unstable i've managed to scam a little bit of extra money off the thracians but yeah it's getting pretty unstable over here Mainly because of population and cultural issues. So, yeah, that's a little bit scary. But we do now have enough money to pop that in. So that is a lot of money gone. But I think it's definitely worth it in the long run. Rhodes is still a rich settlement. And also, we don't want population uh, disorder over here as well. But look at Alexandria. I got really upset straight away. We don't even have a port at Alexandria right now. <laughs> Oh, dearie me. That's, that's not good. That's not good. And honestly, I think it's better to get the Temple of Zeus. It takes four turns to build this, though. Um, well, we don't need this, uh, this fort there anymore either, do we? So I'm wondering if this guy could make them happy. Still 51%. Wow, are you sure? 56%. Then we get this in Alexandria as well. 61. Still only 61%. That's incredibly, incredibly tough. I'm not going to lie. So let's go for the Temple of Zeus. I know it's expensive. And let's have a look at some of our other population disorder. And I'll have a look at what we can do about that. So I've had a look around. Managed to garrison swap a few people over. So they're not rioting anymore. And that's pretty much what we're just going to have to do for the next few turns. Now, the main thing is getting these big garrisons out of these forts. So if I can have a few units in here afterwards that are like one, two, or three men, that would be glorious. So let's get after this battle. Honestly, they've got two generals like us, but we've got a lot more generals, bodyguards. And again, it's predominantly cavalry. I don't know what it is with the AI and rec recruiting Machiroi 4 cavalry. But they love it. <laughs> they absolutely love it. And I have no idea why. But they've got no missile apart from this Greek archer. So we should very handily get rid of these guys. The same tactics as we've done before. So I'll see you there, guys. God damn it, we're on one of these battle maps. I have used these to very good effect in the past, guys. But fighting an uphill battle against these guys on a battle map like this is no mean feat. I mean, defensively, these are fantastic battle maps to have a bit of fun with. But god damn, are they difficult to attack on. As you can see, I mean, what is this? <laughs> what is this? <laughs> Oh, god damn. So we've managed to form up on the hill, but unfortunately all our guys are very tired now because they had to run up that hill. So we're going to give them a break via <laughs> doing this for <laughs> as long as it takes. <laughs> so we're coming forward and hopefully that will allow our slingers to now attack them. 
and shoot them. They have some more general bodyguards. That's Lysa Marcos down there. But this is actually a better place to stand up here, honestly, with the Slingers. But I really just cannot see anything that's going on because this map is so bumpy. <laughs> They've got 304 down there. We're going to try and snipe that general. But hopefully, because these formations were so thick, they really shouldn't take too much damage. So let's rally the men. And let's go for the charge on Lysa Marcos. Looks like he's taking an absolute battering from the, uh, from the Slingers. But I think we want to get those Slingers actually back up there. Are they withdrawing again? You're kidding me! Fuck off! Honestly! Ptolemies and you withdrawing every single battle I've done this episode, you were fucking withdrawn from! You fucking cowards! Come and fight me! Jesus Christ! They are fleeing! The Ptolemies are fleeing! They cannot handle the absolute Rhodian, absolute destruction of their shitty armies! Absolute cowardic, cowardice bastards! I am fucking fuming. What pricks. Honestly. Stop fucking running away. Stop it. Stop fucking running. Literally every fucking battle. Come on. God damn. I wasn't expecting to get such a rant in today. <laughs> oh. Fucking hell, man. Honestly. Every single battle we've done this episode... That they have been able to run away. They have run. <laughs> they have run. God damn. God damn. Well, let's kill whatever these are. What is this? Two units of Thurio Foroi? No problem, sir. Easy mode. Easy mode. We've got a 21 there. That's actually fantastic. That's really good. We might be able to get some juicy little um, Fort Boys off that. Oh, God damn. I am, yeah, I'm not happy about that. <laughs> but I'll see you after the battle, guys. Well, at least it was a free, you know, 600 kills. Not destroyed the army fully. And we didn't kill Demetrius. But oh well, a decent result nonetheless. Even if I was a little salty, as usual. <laughs> I'll see you back on the campaign map, guys. Glorious, glorious victory. So let's have a look at how we can do this then. How can we get these forts to have very small garrisons in rather than these full boyos so we can actually get some better um, public order so honestly this one the first one that's going to be easy we're going to swap these guys over could do in fact though with a full unit so say 120 that's fine that's perfect now this 100 they could probably go in there so i know that's just shuffled them around a little bit Let's have a look. We've got a 24 there. Now, these guys have 122 in a, in a garrison. So what we're going to do, going to pop that in there. And that leaves oh, 123, actually. One. There we go. <laughs> That's what we like to see, boys, isn't it? That's what we like to see. Now, I'm considering building a fort here as well to stop them getting across this way. I mean, where that watchtower is would be a perfect point for a fort, actually. Hmm. Interesting, interesting. Very interesting. Now, Memphis is kind of protected. Not fully protected, but kind of protected. And over here as well. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to go back to now Kratis to retrain the army. And then we'll probably end our episode there, guys. Probably end the episode there. And I'll let Rain know. How we've got on with the cowardly Ptolemies. The cowardly, cowardly Ptolemies. Oh, and the people of Alexandria. <laughs> they just can't catch a break, can they, guys? They just really cannot catch a break. So <laughs> let's get in there. Now, this time, yeah, let's not distribute any more population. It's just going to increase the disorder in our land. So this time, yeah. <laughs> Unfortunately, it's one of those. <laughs> oh, dear. Well, I mean, what else can you do? What else can you do, my friends, when they're going to keep doing stupid stuff like that? And that has allowed us to maybe build in a couple of places. We got the trying to Dionysus in Saiz. Did we get any civil disorder? Yes, we did. Our Thribis, which is actually happy now. And Cato Diaspolis. Actually, they're all happy. So I don't know. 
I think it's just that 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 uh, disorder for a couple of turns that they tend to get. Now this army can be retrained, but I will leave um, I will leave Rain to decide what to do there. Now instead of that, I think I'm going to queue in these buildings as a suggestion. Now obviously they don't need to be built. That's up to him whether he wants to build them or not. It wasn't there somewhere else. Let's have a look through our list. I'll come back to you in a second, guys. Yes, there was. It's Prosopis, and it's 6,400. Now, I think we can probably scam some money off the AI. So I'm going to try and do that so that we can afford to at least build that in. Now, like I say, it'll be up to Rain whether he wants to destroy or save that. But like I say, completely up to him. But it's my suggestion to build it ASAP just because, of course, we've got a plenty big enough army now. And yeah, the Ptolemies do keep coming with more full stacks, but really their full stacks are cowards. They just keep running away. So, <laughs> And we did manage to scam the AI, so we are getting that pumped in there. Very nice indeed. Everywhere seems to be a little bit happier this turn. I don't know why, but I think it's the buildings. Like, why has everywhere suddenly got so much happier? Hmm, I don't know. I really, I think it might be unrest, actually. Unrest has reduced significantly. But we may be even close to putting up the tax rate in some of these places. But anyway, that is where I am going to leave this episode. We did only take two more settlements. Tanis and Boobastis. Bombastic Boobastis. But we did destroy probably... Two and a half full stacks without too many losses ourselves. So, yeah, pretty happy with that. And I think, you know, the east is pretty much blocked off now. That going south is really the best option now. And these are some good settlements down here, down the Nile, with good amounts of trade. So I do think going south might be the option now. But I will leave it up to Rain to see what he wants to do. But anyway, guys, thank you very much for watching. It's been a pleasure, as always. Please do like and subscribe. It really does help the channel out. And I will see you all again on the next video.